So we've taken a closer look at perhaps what's happening behind the scenes. What do we know? Well, it'll come as no surprise that obviously regulators are intimately involved in the turmoil that's happening at Huarong. But what we've learned is that Huarong executives are now sending a weekly written note on the nature of its operations, its liquidity, um, and that also executives have become quite accustomed to sort of ad hoc or last minute calls to talk with regulators when they're seeing either market moving news or the bonds are starting to fall. And so what's kind of interesting about that is the acute interest by regulators in precisely where bond prices are, which is fairly unusual. Rebecca, there's a lovely line in the piece about the chairman at the end of the day conducting calligraphy or doing calligraphy in his office to kind of calm his mind. What is the mood uh, amongst executives employees? Right. Well, I, I think it's sort of relatively mixed. Um, one uh, employee saying not quite as calm um, and saying that, you know, they're concerned about payment of salaries. Another saying that it's sort of business as usual. I think more broadly from senior level executives and from mid-level regulators, there is again, as George mentioned, this idea and this consensus of too big to fail. Now, of course, precisely what failure means in the case of a kind of quasi-sovereign name like, like Huarong, that's really the question here because of course for some investors even a quite moderate haircut on the bonds that would constitute quite a significant kind of failure so what, what does the company need to do or is, is it more a question what do what do authorities need to do to I guess reassure people caught in between holding or holding all this paper you know, I think what's fascinating is that we've seen over the last month, it's taking more and more news and positive news to really see a kind of positive response in the bond. Yep. So over the weekend, we had the editorial from Tyson, previously quite sort of uh, negative about uh, Huarong. Now it's saying that, you know, it's nowhere near default um, and fairly positive and constructive in tone. Now, you know, historically, that might have seen a sort of 10 point, uh, 12, 15 point uh, up, uplift on the bonds. And we've seen just in early morning trading, really only one or two cents on the dollar moving in the sort of 2030s, uh, those sort of those longer dated bonds. So we're seeing it's taking much more to improve sentiment than it ever has before.